everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to look at whether or not the ipad pro 4.9 inch with magic keyboard can replace your traditional macbook laptop let me give you the conclusion of the video at the beginning and the simple answer is no no it can't i'm going to go through why so first let me go through the pros let me tell you why you might want to consider it as a as a replacement right and right there you saw a little preview now the 120 hertz screen just makes this a way more fun to use like you can't compare you see it's just a little bit slower you know the 128 hertz screen on the ipad pro really makes it enjoyable to use and you have to experience it you have to really experience it to see you know to feel the magic not even see you need to feel the magic of the 120 hertz another thing that works super well is face id so if you're on safari and you need to type in some sort of password or anything you you can literally just uh, use face id so let for example i go to uh, let's just say Webflow. I can just go. So all I have to do, put my face here. So obviously I'm not sitting down next to my um, my laptop. So that wasn't as elegant. But if I was sitting right in front of my laptop, I wouldn't have to touch anything. It would literally just, just like that and I'll be straight into whatever I'm doing. Now, even just to follow on from that, this is probably has the best Safari experience I've ever experienced on a Mac product because, sorry, on an Apple product. <clears throat> because when I'm on a Mac, I never really, well, that's not true. I use Safari a little bit, but more secondary. But on the iPad Pro, Safari is really good. And to be honest, that is mostly because Face ID works so well. Something that's built into basically all the iPad Pros is this kind of fanless design, you know, that the Macs can't really compete with, you know, because, oh, yeah, they're doing this with one hand is not great. Yeah. So with this one, especially this MacBook, this is a 2019 MacBook Pro. There is a little bit of issues of some fan noise. It can, if it's exporting a video or something, you're gonna, you're definitely gonna hear some noise. I've exported videos. Um, using LumaFusion on this. Um, I'll probably be doing the next video. Well, sorry, I'm probably gonna be editing this video using LumaFusion and doing it on this. And it is whisper quiet. Another cool thing is there's loads of apps for the iPad Pro. So obviously the App Store, all the apps in the App Store are available for the iPad Pro. There's tons you can do. Um, another thing is with the Apple Pencil, editing photos is like really really enjoyable you know you can really just go in there and do a lot so for me i, I think it's much more fun this is the thing then this is the theme ipad pro is more fun to use than a macbook pro but when it comes to productivity we have to go back to the macbook and that's the problem so i'll, I'll explain so right now even though there's loads of apps for the ipad pro Software wise, we're always gonna be you know, looking to the Mac apps because they got the full versions of um, loads of uh, apps. And um, there's always something really small that you can, that, that feels like, you know, it, it should be super easy. But on, a Mac, on the iPad Pro, you might not be able to do it. Well, on the Mac, you know, it's a computer, it has, it's more flexible, it's more based around productivity. And if you, for example, even just the, the file management, the file management on Mac is just, it's just far superior than on here. So here we have, you can see the files here. It's simple and it's all right. It's, it's not too bad to use, but on the MacBook Pro, you know, it's, it's, it's just more efficient. If you need to copy things over, if you need to move things around, uh, it's more efficient. Another problem with the iPad Pro is no external monitor support. Now I'll try and put a um, clip over this to show you what the uh, what it looks like with an external monitor. Because what happens is there's 
the black bars on the side. Now this is something Apple needs to fix because one, there's black bars. Two, it, it can only mirror the display. It can't extend the display. So it's pretty useless to be honest, having, you know, to be able to put the USB-C into the iPad Pro, but for you not to be able to get it to work properly in terms of not having the black bars and not having, and not being able to extend the display. So in terms of pros and cons, you can see that there aren't too many cons for the Mac Magic Keyboard and iPad Pro combination, but they're crucial cons, which mean that if you're somebody who has to do real work, let's say, uh, whatever that means, I guess, um, some of the inefficiencies of the Magic Keyboard might be deal breakers for you. And obviously not being able to use the external display um, for me, is, a, is a, I think it's a deal breaker. Apple needs to sort that out ASAP. Hopefully in the next, hopefully, hopefully in WWDC, they'll announce something um, in the next version of iPad OS, we might see something and uh, they'll solve that problem because it has to be solved. Um, otherwise, it's the iPad Pro will not be able to move forward for me as a device. But the thing that the iPad Pro will always have over this is just the fun element. It's just more fun, it's more smooth, it's more powerful um, than the MacBook. But in conclusion, I think the iPad Pro has tremendous potential. It's probably the most fun Apple product to use. It brings like a lot of joy to mundane tasks. I love editing videos on it. But unfortunately, it just comes up short when it comes to replacing your laptop. You know, unfortunately, it just comes up short. But we're all waiting for the day when it actually can. Um, we're, all, we're just waiting for Apple to make those small changes. I think that it doesn't even require too many large changes, just a couple of small changes a couple of small additions, external monitor support, more app support, um, and I think we're basically we're basically there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm still gonna make iPad video. I'm still gonna make more iPad videos. So if you enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe for more, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.